Welcome to another edition of DevKit Weekly. This week we're breaking down the AVR BLE development board from Microchip. This board sits at the sweet spot of IoT connectivity, security, and ultra low power. It's so low power that you can run it off a single coin cell battery which as it happens, you could mount to the CR2032 holder on the back side of the module. Kicking off the feature set with low power connectivity, the AVR BLE development board features the RN4807 Bluetooth module that supports Bluetooth low energy and it also compliant with the new Bluetooth 5 specifications. The device hosts a complete Bluetooth stack, integrated baseband controller, analog and digital IOs, RF power amplifier, and comes with a shielded regulatory certified antenna built in so no worries if you're not a wireless expert. All of the features of the RN4870 culminate in a wireless throughput that's two and a half times greater than the Bluetooth 4.1 counterparts, making it and the AVR BLE development board a great place to start prototyping short-range IoT applications. Of course, if you're an IoT engineer, you know you have to secure those wireless data transactions, and here the AVR BLE has you covered by integrating one of microchips ATECC608A crypto authentication secure elements. This hardware-based cryptographic coprocessor stores crypto keys in tamper-proof memory and also employs cryptographic countermeasures that help cover backdoors and software vulnerabilities. It's also pretty convenient in terms of energy consumption as majority of security overhead can be offloaded from the host processor to the ATECC608A. Speaking of the host processor, local intelligence on the AVR BLE development board is provided by the AVR Atmega 3208. This little 8-bit MCU runs at a tortoise-like 20 megahertz, but that's okay when you consider this board is really targeting those deeply embedded extreme edge applications that really prioritize extremely low power consumption over powerful real-time analytics. Case in point, an on-chip sleep controller that supports idle standby and power down states and core independent peripherals which can be configured on or off to further reduce the overall chip's power draw. The AVR sports 32 kilobytes of flash, 4 kilobytes of SRAM, and 256 kilobytes of EEPROM internally. This is augmented by 4 megabytes of external serial flash on the board, as well as an onboard debugger that eliminates the need for an external programmer. Just interface with the micro USB port here and start your serial programming over a connected UART. This of course allows you to program the AVR BLE dev board directly to the Atmel Studio or Microchip MP Lab X. But the debugger also supports a DGI interface that allows you to link up with logic analyzers for program visualization and it also houses a, a mass storage device. This storage device will look like a workstation on your development workstation and provides a FAT12 file system that allows files to be dragged and dropped onto the device for light and quick programming. Aside from those highlights, the AVR BLE development board includes an acceleration sensor, temperature sensor, and a couple LEDs. But if you want to take this to the next level of prototyping, the engineers over at Microchip have also included these Microbus headers for additional expansion via clicks in the Microbus ecosystem. Another pretty cool note on the Microbus headers is that a lot of functionality is shared between those sockets and the Atmega 3208 pins, which itself shares some pin functionality with the debugger and RN4870 Bluetooth module. But just so you're aware, there are some additional GPIOs on the back of the board. A final item of note with the AVR BLE kit is that it pairs with Light Blue, an iOS and Android development application created by Punchthrough that connects directly to the board as somewhat ad hoc GUI. Light Blue provides a mechanism for configuring Bluetooth devices like the AVR BLE development board controlling its sensors and other onboard features viewing basic device information and so on. Pretty cool for those looking to get up and running with a full-fledged IoT prototype in no time. If that describes you and you're interested in getting one of these kits for yourself, you can buy one directly from DigiKey for just $29, or thanks to DigiKey, our sponsor for this week's raffle, you could be one of the lucky winners of 10 of the AVR BLE development boards that we'll be giving away for free to raffle participants. To enter this week's raffle, check out the links on the screen or find in the description below. Good luck in this week's raffle. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on DevKit Weekly.